Hello and welcome to the Unfinity PPR bonus judge fight. Or sorry, I'm not wearing my hat. Howdy. Much better? Much better. I'm Serge. I'm one of the judges. Joined by Nelson. Hi. One of the judges. And it wouldn't be an unfight judge fight without the unjudge himself. Mark Rosewater. Hello. Mark Rosewater's here. I'm here. <laughs> now, I'm assuming you've already watched the entire pre-pre-release on YouTube on the LRR MTG channel. If not, I mean, pause this and go do that and then come back and watch this. Because this is going to be a little bit different. Instead of just a 90-minute free-for-all, we're going to fight best of three. Because, you know... Like, like a match of magic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the stakes have never been lower, right? There's... There's, there's a prize! Oh, wait, An actual on. prize for the winner. The stakes have a been A mystery lower. prize. They have no idea what it is. It's a mystery prize. Really? Yes. Oh, no. So you're playing for something. <laughs> Maybe it's even the manila envelope that says Ooh. for the winner on it. <laughs> I, will, I will let you know there's something inside the oh. envelope. All right, so it's not just the envelope. Well, now it's I'm nervous. nervous. I mean, you, all, you also win the envelope. Okay. So I would two, I, two things. You know what? If I win, I'm going to get you to autograph it, and then I will autograph okay. it. Okay, <laughs> three things. You can win three <laughs> things. So I'll hold on to this. I was already winner. nervous because the sheriff's in town. Howdy. All right. Um, we did the die roll. I won. We both have sevens. That's right. Well, let's uh, let's get right in. With okay. your permission, I, please proceed. All right. Mark has sanctioned this round. Let's go. <laughs> have at thee. All right, my friend. I have an island, a very pretty island, and say go. Okay. I'm intimidated by your hat and your pretty island now. <laughs> I've got a planes that looks like a normal planes. No, not a one drop. And trapeze artist. <laughs> dun dun dun. Statistically, not a one drop. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that a two one flyer for one? Well, we'll it see. <laughs> when it enters the battlefield by being, uh, it enters the battlefield by being flipped from a height of at least one foot. And if it lands face down or didn't turn over completely at least once during the flip, return to our hand. Right, it has to rotate once completely. Right. So uh, that's not a problem. I'm, I'm used to rotating a card once com completely from a height of one foot above the ground. So what happens if it doesn't <laughs> go face up? Well, I just have to put it back in my hand. Yeah, you put it back in your it hand. To its own hand. So, so can we go back to the part where you're used to having to flip cards completely? <laughs> like, what? what? Y'all didn't have to master the Chaos Orb flip back in grade <laughs> nine? No? <laughs> All right. Oh. oh! But the Chaos Orb doesn't have to land face up, so I'm going to practice with that. All right. So I'm going to put it back in my hand now. All right. Good turn. Okay, that sure was a lot. I did some practice last night, and uh, about 50% of the time it lands <laughs> face up. Uh, planes, and I have a two drop. This is the Sanguini Slipper. Nice. Or Sanguin. Sanguin. Sanguin Sipper. I yeah. pronounced both wrong. It means uh, Sanguin is a blood. L oh. Someone who loves sipping blood because uh, she's a vampire. It is a vampire guest. So two mana, three one. Has lifelink as long as I life link as long as I control a permanent with a sticker. And the midway offers every flavor under the sun, even to guests who need to stay out of it. And I will point out, might not be relevant at all. She has a hat. As do I. <laughs> Excellent. Go. No swamps yet, but maybe you've got the white cards from the white black hat deck. Okay, I have a mountain. And if you've got a Sangrita slipper over there, <laughs> I should probably make some clowns. Here we go. It's clowning around. Create two 1-1 one, one white clown robot artifact creature tokens. Then roll a six-sided die. If the result is equal to or less than the number of robots you control, create a 1-1 one, one white clown creature token. Okay, cool. And of course, the flavor text. And the flavor text is, the Astratorium's clown bots are programmed to delight attendees by any means necessary. Oh, menacing. Okay. So the way this works is, uh, you have two clowns. Okay. You're going to roll a die. Yes. If you get two or less, you get a third clown. Awesome. Oh. Not this time. No, not this time. But we've got two clowns. Back to you. They All are right. white. Untapped. And they're artifacts. Yes, and they're artifacts. For the turn. Okay. So you mentioned, am I also playing black? Well, I've got oh, the natural. I've got nice, the natural here. Nice lands. I actually drafted, uh, it was like a sign. <laughs> one, or I didn't even draft them. I just opened them in my pack. One of each of the the special unlands in my colors. And it would have been what like such a flex, but statistically unlikely to play those three. <laughs> sure. All right. Maybe next game. Anyways, um, how do you feel about signpost uncommons? Ooh, I'm Ooh. a fan in general. And the booster fun version. All right, we've got DK, Finder of the Lost. This is a legendary zombie employee 1-4. Seems very good against the aggro deck. When it enters the battlefield, open an attraction. Whenever you roll a 2, each opponent loses a life and you gain a life. Whenever you roll a 4, tap or untap target artifact or creature. And whenever you roll a 6, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. And I've got my attraction deck right here, revealing 
Ooh, shiny bumper cars. So when I visit it, target creature must be blocked this turn if able. Scary. On a two, a four, and a six. And uh, you've got two on ones, so I will not be attacking. Pass. Okay. All right, so this, this turn looks a little weird after casting Clowning Around. <laughs> but, but I've got Tapper, Artifact Creature, Clown Robot. Uh, tap an untapped creature you control that has a hat to tap target creature. And the flavor text is Technologically Advanced, People Pleasing Entertainment Robot, eh? Cute. Nice hat. Be a shame if something happened to it from Brim's Barone Midway Monster. So by the way, there are two Clown Robot tokens, one of which has a hat, one of which doesn't have a hat, both of yours are the one that have a hat. Okay, so. lucky. All right, so I can use my tapper and my, my hatted up clown robot to tap creatures. Yep. I've also got one clown band. Uh, a 1 3 clown robot bard with pay 3, target robot gets plus 2 plus 0 oh until end of turn. And it says, program to play more than 70 instruments and only one song. <laughs> <laughs> so that seems not great. You have a 1 4, and. Her ability is, again, remind me, it's... All dice rolling. All dice rolling right, and yeah. it, on an interaction. Okay, great. If he rolls an even number, something's going to happen. There's three tap different attacks. So two, four, creature. and six. Gotcha. Can we talk about how every single creature you have is both a clown and a robot? Sure, yeah. I, I drafted the clown robots deck. I just was worried that the sanguine sipper was going to get in um, after my first turn of not resolving the trapeze artist correctly. <laughs> so I wanted to make the tokens, even though I knew yeah, there was yeah, a yeah. better chance I could make three later. Uh, back to you, Serge. Untap, untap, untap. Draw first, and then the beginning of your first main phase is when you roll for your attraction. Go to attraction step. Mm -hmm. I rolled a five, so that's nothing. That's neither, wow, it's actually oh. two, four, six on the bumper cars <laughs> and two, four, six on DK. Okay. And I managed to dodge both. Okay. Fascinating. Uh, just because it's prettier, I did draw the, uh, the swamp. Okay. So we'll put that into play. I have the mountain from my pack too. Sorry, I didn't announce it, everybody. All right, um, ooh, jeez. Uh, I have to suddenly look at my stickers for no reason here. Don't <laughs> good, mind me. Good idea, yeah, that's yeah. important. <laughs> uh, how do I do this? It's like if I attack, everything happens. All right, I got a plan here. Get in for one with one four. You got it, no blocks. Wow, not even, okay. not no hesitation. Yeah. Pass. Okay, untap. I've got the trapeze artist again. All right, let's see it. So we'll put it on the card reader just to remind people what it does. This That'll is work. a dexterity challenge time. All right. Let's see it. Oh, hey! okay. Full 360? Nice. Is it also a clown robot or no? It is not. It, okay. okay. It is, a, I think, a human performer. Mm -mm. I also have Minotaur de Force. This is a 2-1 haste uh, Minotaur performer that has, when it enters the battlefield, I get a sticker, or sorry, a, a ticket. A ticket, yeah. I get a ticket. Tickets. Yeah, so I'll, you want to have I, I, I ticket, please. Do. Ticket, please. <laughs> I love that we got uh, Kathleen, Kathleen doing the, the vampire voice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's your ticket. Yeah, yeah. grizzled teenage vampire. I just like having the tickets. I like having nice. the, 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 yeah, physical the tickets. tickets are great. Cool. Okay, and then I can put a sticker on something. Your board is so wide. It's There's a lot of them. So be aware that the lowest ticket cost is two. So with only one ticket, you can't use any abilities or any power toughness stickers. But you can use a name sticker or an uh, art sticker. And there are cards that care about things being stickered. So. so I have one that cares about stickers, sort of. It cares about hats. So I'm going to take this oh, okay. adorable, uh, what it's a, it's a shark hat, right? Yes. Well, shark and I'll hat. put it on one of my creatures that doesn't already have a hat, uh, which I'm trying to discern now. Um, Trapeze Artist definitely doesn't have it as a flyer. The Minotaur, I don't think, has a hat unless this... I think it's just hair. Yeah, it's just cool hair. <laughs> yeah. And then the One Clown Band, I think those are symbols. So probably not a hat because <laughs> it's functional. So would I rather be tapping my 2-1 haste to tap enemy creatures or my 1-3? I think on this board, I'd rather be tapping my 2-1. So I'm going to give the Minotaur a hat. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. And so now okay. we have oh, right. the yeah. super card reader. Thank you, Paul. The sticker reader. So now Ooh. you can see. <laughs> oh, that's, that's where the head is. <laughs> yeah. So right. Mi Minotaur to Force, by the way, is one of my favorite card names. I, one of my goals was to get as many puns as possible into the set. Mm. Awesome. And originally I pitched that as the flavor text for the card. Like she was a Minotaur to Force. Uh, but we ended up using another piece of flavor text, so I convinced him to use it for the name. So. 
Uh, and then I'll just attack with the two one one clown robots. Oh man, he's so smart. <laughs> <laughs> my combat tricks. Well, I'm still gonna do my combat tricks. Do it. You've activated my trap card. The uh, focus. Okay. How do I pronounce it? Second word. Phenambulist. Phenambulist. It means a, a, type, it's a type of walker is what that means. Okay. A fancy word for type of walker. So a human performer 2-1 with flash. As it enters the battlefield, you may put an art sticker on the empty side of the balancing pole. When you do, ask a person outside the game, does this look balanced? If they say yes, you may tap or untap target creature. Oh, okay. Did you want to do this before I declare attackers yeah. or, or no, no, after, no, I, after I declare yeah, attackers? This is before blockers. Oh, you're going to untap right. your one for it. Right, right, right. All right. Okay, cool. I was like, where do I tap? So this is why I was looking at my art before. Because mm -hmm. uh, I have to, in the art, I have to balance it with this little this little gremlin looking thing. A Blorbian is the, the, the it's the aliens that live on the park. They're called the Blorbians. Blorbian. It's yes. a Blorbian. It's a Blorbian. So my thought process here is I'm going to get something that's visually very light, like this toque or beanie for the Americans watching at home. Mm -hmm. Apparently they don't know what toques are. And I'm going to put it opposite. And visually they might not look as balanced, but I'm imagining with the weight with the weight difference here. If you have something that's lighter but further out. All right, so I'll show okay. this to Mark first, and then we'll, we'll show it to the audience afterwards. Wait, wait, show, show the audience, and I, I can I can level that. Yeah. OK, so the question is, is that, what, what do you guys call it? A toque. A toque. A toque or a beanie. So it's made of, it's made of wool. OK. Um, I believe the alien is heavier than that, by actually, by a bit. So I do not think it is better. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm sorry, Serge. All right, so I do not get to tap or untap Those alien anything. babies are heavier than they look. <laughs> I thought about pushing it out even further. I mean, further. human babies are heavier than a hat. That, that was my next bit, yeah. I was going to let Serge know that human babies are heavier no. than a hat, too, actually. All right. Uh, Take two? Or do you want to block with your uh, creatures? I'll just take the two. Back to you, friend. All right. Okay, so, so take 18. two. All right. Untap, untap, untap. Draw step. Traction step. Come on, even numbers. Ooh, we got a six. Okay. Oh, I should have blocked. Because <laughs> DK has the ability to return yeah. a creature if I roll a six. Right. So, but you still get uh, target creature must be blocked this turn if able. I'm okay. going to say DK must be blocked this turn if able. That's fine. Okay. Uh, and let's go to my regular face here. All right, land for the turn. I would like to announce my intentions to go to attacks. Yeah, I'll activate Tapper. Um, tapping Sanguine Sipper. Mm. All right, Sanguine Sipper has been tapped. Very clever. Thank you. <laughs> I'll um, I'll get in for three. I will block DK. OK, so take two. Sound band, I take two. OK, take two. And then for my second main phase, rat in a hat. Ooh. This is a one mana rat rogue. It's a one two. I may tap and sacrifice it until end of turn. You may cast target creature card that has a hat from your graveyard. And the flavor text. While the gremlin beetle and squirrel infestations wreaked havoc on the park, Roxy was able to spin the numerous rat colonies as a robust re recycling system. Excellent. Yeah, Roxy is the blue red signpost, by the way. Mm. She, she's the PR agent of the park. OK. And uh, go to you. So let's you recast your creatures from your graveyard rather than putting them back in your hand. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Originally, by the way, the card uh, regrew a creature and put it in your hand. But uh, the way the stickers work, if a sticker goes to your hand, it loses the sticker. Right. right. So we let okay. you cast it out of the graveyard rather than put it in your hand. So okay. it's, it's similar effect, but works so it with synergizes stickers. with the yes. yeah, yeah the hat yeah. stickers specifically. Awesome. Very cool. And it's a one two. Huh? And yeah, it blocks your one ones pretty well here. Unless, of course, you choose to tap it down. Does DK have a hat? Uh, DK notably does not have a hat. Uh, writes down, Nelson has a removal spell. I really do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll go to combat. Yeah. And I'll attack with Trapeze Artist. Um, Can't block a flyer. Yeah, I know. I'm thinking about sending in the clowns, too. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's the name of the deck. I'll attack with one clown robot token as well. I will block the one clown robot token. OK, so I, I do have one clown band. I will not block the OK, one that's one fine. Token. Yeah, you can take three instead. That's <laughs> Thank okay. you. I okay. will take three. Thanks for the take back. I will <laughs> use my mana instead on well done, targeting DK. It deals five damage to target creature. If it's rare or mythic, you take three as well. And it is not. It's an uncommon. I know, but I still <laughs> want to get it. <laughs> yeah. Back right. to you. All right, untap, untap, untap. So you killed the one creature that can get creatures back from the graveyard. 
Draw. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe not just the not one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, draw a step. And then we have the oh, we roll the one for the attraction step. I guess I hope so. <laughs> I hope that's the only creature that gets creatures back. I mean that we could see. Yeah. There are some cards that let you put hats on creatures in your graveyard. Yes. There's there a are. put yes. put a sticker on something you own, so then that could yes. combine with the rat in the hat. And, and there's, there's a card that gets something back from the graveyard with a hat on it. So right. Yeah. Nelson. Yes. You killed my best creature. I did. <laughs> yes, that was on purpose, actually. <laughs> that's so rude. I'm sorry. Here we are, dueling. Four stakes. That's right. <laughs> yes, stakes. All right. This is this is going to be probably the worst clone effect ever. Nah. But I've 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 cloned worse things. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> so uh, introducing mobile clone. So this is a four mana sorcery. Using a mobile device, take a Ooh. picture of target creature. Okay. That device enters the battlefield as a token. That's a photocopy of the pictured creature. Okay. I'd like to take a picture of your hat tapper. Okay. You ever use a four mana spell to copy a one drop? Yeah. Want to do me a just a sec? So be aware that this would also copy any stickers, yep. any right. tokens, okay, uh, or is there any counters, any auras, any um, equipment? No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Not any of them are on this particular one, but it copies everything that's on it, which normal clone effects do not do. Of course. Yeah. All right. Uh, so my phone now enters the battlefield. Great. <laughs> So what happens if he gets a call? Do you have to sacrifice my you know, your clone of Tapper? Or? There's no ruling for that action. Okay, Luckily, no we have Mark to resolve this. Right. Actually, give me a second. We could put my phone on silent. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little, a little, little. Going and change the notification settings. There, yeah. Yeah. A call does not destroy the token creature. Okay. All right. All right. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and pass. Okay. I will tap your Tapper with my clown robot. It does have summoning sickness. Uh, yeah. But it is a one-two. Yeah. I'm gonna tap it. <laughs> it's funnier to make you drink. <laughs> that's, that's fair. How many creatures with hats do you have? At least I, one. Yeah. Uh, Probably the rat. Yeah, well. the rat has yeah. Okay. The rat definitely has a hat, but, and I oh, think does, I would yeah. argue the sanguine sipper yeah. has yeah. a sanguine, little party yeah. sheet on there. The sanguine sipper has a hat. Right? So yeah. I am I am three oh, for here, three. Here's a very funny story: is um, when you make a set, you have a little bit of flexibility to work with the artists to have them go back and fix things. Sure. And all my art, basically my art budget essentially, uh, was putting white hats on white creatures. Because after we saw, the, we started seeing the art come in, black had a lot of hatted creatures, but white was a little light. And so I went back and like, we said, could you please uh, put a hat on such and such creature? So, that's so, so uh, Sanguine Sipper, I think might be one of the ones we said, could we, could we put a hat on Sanguine Sipper? Sure, just under the space helmet. Oh no. I have another Minotaur to force. Ooh, this is bad for Surge. But I'm gonna get another ticket and okay. then Here's spend it right ticket. away. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna spend them okay. for, not a power change in ability? Yeah, it's whenever no. ability whenever this attacks, bolster one. Ooh, Ooh. Bolster is put a plus one plus one creep counter on something else. Your uh, smallest, I think smallest powered creature? Toughness. Smallest toughness oh, creature. Yeah, Man. Lowest toughness on creature. On the flyer? Oh, whenever I'm Whenever this attacks, my lowest toughness creature. And you can choose, if it's a tie, you get to choose. The, yeah. the, the active player chooses. So I'll attack with, I think just this. Yeah, yep. I only have two mana left. So I'll just attack with the trapeze artist and then put a plus one plus one counter on the trapeze artist. All right, taking three. three. for one, yeah. Back to you, Fred. All right, untap, untap, untap. <laughs> Draw for the turn. Uh, we have the attraction step. Doesn't really do too much here. Uh, two, yeah, you got which it. is actually a success for this one. Okay. So. Um, Something must be blocked. Yeah. Let's just go uh, go ahead and say you have to block the rat in the hat. Copy that. All right. I've already drawn for the turn. Like, like a Dr. Seuss. Uh, that will be that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I'd like to make my intentions to go to attacks. Yes. I will tap something. Makes sense. Um, I'll just tap your tapper now. He saw the line. <laughs> Ah, oh, man. All right, my tapper is tapped. Okay. I'm going to go to attacks, and I'm going to attack with the Sanguine Sipper and the Rat in the Hat. Okay, I'd like to block. Yeah, you have to block the Rat in the Hat. I'll block the Rat in the Hat with the Minotaur to Force with no hat, and I'll block the Sanguine Sipper with a Clown Robot. Oh, right. Not all creatures must block. It must be blocked if able. It must be blocked if able, yeah. Do yeah. you want to just it's attack not, with yeah, the Rat? It's fine. It's, it's fine. not lure. It, yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Ir irresistible prey. That's fine. Yeah. I'll uh, I'll gain three, and we'll we'll trade both these creatures. Sounds good. Uh, second main, line cutter. 
This mm. is a four mana three four. When it enters the battlefield, visit an attraction. And the attraction no, is no, 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 roll. No, 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 no. Roll to visit your attraction. Oh. Not open an attraction. Oh. You might have wanted to done that before you attacked. Since the only thing you can visit is something that makes things have to attack. Yeah, Block. no, that's fine. Do you I. Want to... <laughs> no, no, no. Don't, no, no, no okay. don't, yeah, yeah. That's very, very kind, very chivalrous of you. Uh, so, I have... just to be real clear for the audience yeah. open an attraction means get an attraction off the top of your deck. Oh. Roll to visit means roll the die to see if you go. What this card lets you do is normally you only visit your attractions at the yeah. beginning of your main phase. This lets you, you know, later on get another chance to visit them. That does an incredible job synergizing with my DK, which is dead. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Now, notably, a um, fabulous hair, no hat. Right. Yeah. Okay, no hat on But she has good hair. Yeah. Uh, there's no point. one hat. There's no yeah. point in rolling, so sure. I'll just go ahead and pass. Okay. If DK was on, in, on the battlefield, though, that would be worth rolling, even though you didn't care about the effect, but right. DK's not there. So. And it's DK, because it's a joke, DK, like she's a zombie, by the way. Everyone keeps asking that. Right. Oh. It, it has nothing to do with Donkey Kong, so. Okay. <laughs> Three, four, though. That's yeah. relevant. Um, I'll attack. Not for your flyer, yeah. I'll attack for three in the sky yeah, and I put a plus 12. one, plus one counter on the clown robot. Okay. Those. Thank you so much. Then, after combat, I'll cast. I have five mana now, right? Yeah, I'll cast Riot Ooh, Guide. Yeah. That's a so bingo this creature. Is, yeah, uh, 4 4 that opens an attraction. Yep. Just make sure my attraction deck is shuffled. That's what, there. I, what I was hoping I had. Yes. <laughs> right. Okay, it's. The Superlatorium! The Superlatorium! Superlatorium. Let's put that on the card reader. So if I roll a 4, 5, or 6 in my next pre-combat main, I get to... What do I do? Sorry? Oh, we're, we're reading right. it like that. Sorry, I don't no, want to no, take we're away. We're just showing the numbers. You can, oh, you the can numbers. Okay, great. Right. Right. Yeah. So, well, well, this one's actually different, but we'll, we'll explain oh, in a second. Okay. Oh, okay. Mine's... Yeah. Go ahead. So let me, let me explain how, this, the super, how the Superlatorium works, and then we'll okay. talk about this. Um, there's three different qualities of cards, and there's six different cards, each with their own three different qualities. So there's 18 different qualities you might ask about. What you're going to do is, there's some quality that will be picked. Um, I think, does the opponent pick, or is it randomly picked? I'm an opponent. So you're going to pick one of the qualities when he visits it. Um, the outside person, I, I will not, not listen what gets picked, because I'm, I'm the outside person. <laughs> but uh, the person who does it picks whatever, let's say it's the dirtiest, or the fastest, or whatever, the scariest, let's say the scariest. Um, you would then pick what you think the outside person would pick is the scariest of your creatures. Oh. And then you go get an outside person who's not watching the game. So if we do this, I'll have to cover my eyes so I don't see who he picks. Right. And then I, the outside person, pick who I think is the scariest. And if you match what I pick, then you win the prize. Perfect. So you're trying to predict what the outside person will do. Okay. Now this particular one, you want to read the, the three things? Yeah, the opponent has to choose. When, so if I hit the four, five, or six, the opponent chooses funniest, smelliest, or sturdiest. And then I choose a creature and then we keep that, that choice hidden. We ask an outside person right. to choose another creature. That, and if so. they match, I get two one one balloons, sacrifice this, and open an attraction. So if we go there, I will, I will close my eyes so I yeah. don't see okay. And you'll point to the one you think is the right thing. And, and creature then tokens count for that, too. It's based purely uh, As on the long art. as there's art, yes. Yeah. It has okay. to have art. If it's a token that doesn't have art, then you, obviously you can't pick it. It has yeah. to have art. Yeah, okay. So. All right. So, and then Riot Guy is a 4 4. Yep. Uh, that I believe is wearing a hat. Well, maybe. Maybe Would, it's a tight suit. Uh, which one? This guy? <laughs> Does Riot yeah, Guy have a hat? he's wearing a hat. All right. All right. Back to you, Serge. All right. Untap, untap, untap. I need something to stabilize here. Yeah, there's a little here. employee beanie that they wear, and he's wearing the employee right. beanie, so. Of course. Draw. I roll the six. Uh, you have to block my two one. Deal. I will. Six always hits. Six, six. Is, six is a yeah, jackpot. Two, four, yeah, six, two, four, six. Yeah. Six always hits, but yeah, yeah. two, four, six is that one. One is bad, six is the jackpot. Right. Well, you always miss on one, you always hit on six. That's true for all the interactions. So, there's this battle of initiative with our tappers that we have yeah. here. And Nelson always wants me to never be able to tap down his flying attacker. My so, tapper was here first. Yeah, <laughs> and so he's always got the priority on this. And I'm on the back foot, both in the life race and stuff like that. So it's like... If I try and pre-tap <laughs> to get in with an attacker, he's already winning the initiative there. If I don't tap, he just taps my tapper. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard game for hard people yeah. who like silly clowns and putting <laughs> stickers on things. Yeah, I, Even though this isn't <laughs> silly, I'm silly, it's still magic. There's yeah. still actual tactical decisions to be yeah, made. Yeah, that's right. You still have to yeah. face master decoy battles no matter what <laughs> set you're in or what plane we visit. And then if I don't tap something, 
he can still tap something of mine. Yeah, sometimes the mana <clears throat> matters, but in this case, yeah, the, it's not mana. It's the other second, creature. second yeah. creature. So tapping, it's yeah. like so having more creatures. So if I tap both of my creatures to tap a blocker, mm -hmm. Nelly taps my only untapped creature. Yeah. If I don't tap, he taps my my hat creature, which effectively turns this off, and he gets a free attack. Maybe. So I'm actually had it if I do and had it if I don't. <laughs> I, I, we'll use the you know the the un yeah. terminology for this. Right. Uh, so I think I just pass futilely because that gives me a blocker. Whereas if I tap okay. everything to try and get in with the attacker, I have nothing tapped. Yeah. If anyone's wondering, it's totally fair to say go to go to combat and then maybe you get your opponent yeah. to, to do it. But if you you want to pass the turn, I'll tap your tapper with tapper. Somewhere Tappy Toe Claws is enjoying this even more. <laughs> okay, untap. Upkeep. Hey, hold on. What, 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 is, <laughs> what is under your lands? Okay, I've Wait been hiding Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> I've been doing a really bad job. I thought I could hide them under my lands while tapping and untapping. That's not a skill I Hold have. Hold on. <laughs> okay, draw. And then roll for attraction. This guy. So, why was he hiding? Yeah, by? yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a one. All right. Okay, we're not going to visit the attraction right now. Uh, but we are going to combat. I think I'm fine with the attraction getting it. Oh, yeah, and I can attack with the clown robot, too. Sure. Okay, go to combat? Yeah. So it's all three of these. Yeah. And then, and then I have a bolster trigger. trigger. It has to go here. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to double block the 4-4. Four, four. That's totally fine. Uh, I will put the 3-4 in front. Yep. All right. So I'm going to take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes. Go to 7. Okay. Uh, this time. Rockstar. It's a 4-5 elemental performer with reach. And when it enters the battlefield, I may discard a card. If I do, reveal the top five cards of my library, ask a person outside the game to choose which of them is most like a rock band, put right. that card into your hand and the rest of the bottom of your library in random order. So this is reveal? Yes. So okay. uh, can Mark be the person outside the game? Yeah. Is that okay. Yeah. So I've got a mountain from Unlimited, a mountain from Crimson Vow, <laughs> Doodle, Characterist, Robo Pinata, and Impounding Lot Bot. Okay. Which what is sounds most like, most a, rock like band? a rock band? Um, mountain. Robo Pinata, Impounding Lotbot, or Doodle Character Trust. Robo Pinata, I, I think sounds most like a rock band. Yeah, oh, that's fair. Robo. And these go on the bottom in the random order, is that right, sir? Where is it? Yes. Okay, let's check, please. I, I'm very sorry to see Doodle not get played right here, but uh, it doesn't sound particularly like a rock band. No, I, yeah, I actually think that my choice, if yeah. I was the outside person, would yeah. be Impounding Lotbot. <laughs> But that's okay. I like Robert Pinata. Back to you, Serge. I don't know if anything can rock harder than a mountain, though. Mountain. <laughs> did, you, did you see... Uh, I, I think Robo Pinata sounds like a... Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Robo Pinata is oh, good. Yeah, yeah. I saw Robo Pinata in the gorge last night. They were awesome, man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. I rolled a one. What are you doing this weekend? I'm going to the Robo Pinata show on Saturday. All right. We finally hit one of the namesakes of my deck. Excellent. Okay. Uh, oh, God. I'm behind. I got to get my head in the game. You know, got to get my head in the game. <laughs> so this is, I could have done it at flash speed, but this is fine. Okay. Get your head in the game, enters the battlefield, exile target non-land permanent until it, this card, leaves the battlefield. Then touch it, this card, to my head. When it, this card, stops touching it, my head, sacrifice it, the card, not not my head, to be clear. Okay. I'm going to get rid of your flyer. So this gets exiled. Right, so it's it's like an oblivion ring. Yeah. So it, as long as that card, the second it touches your head, it has to continually touch your head. Okay. Flip it in there. There you go. Nice. All right. Just remind me to shuffle this into my deck. <laughs> no promises. Just going to call a judge <laughs> after you present. <laughs> okay. Pass. Pass. Okay. I will tap your tap. No! He remembered. He saw yeah, the lines. That's true. That would have been a really big turn for you. Okay. Tab, draw. Attraction. Five. Okay, so okay, now, so you pick. Give them the three choices. So you pick you, one. You have to pick smelly or funny or whatever. The three choices. Funniest, smelliest, or sturdiest. So okay. it could be anything on the board. Yeah. So first, pick it. Pick what you want to pick, and then I will. I will close right. my eyes. So okay. I don't see what you pick. Mark is closing his eyes. Okay, I'm closing my eyes. Say anything. All right. You just point at the, you the, say the, the answer. Thing. You say the thing. All right. Sturdiest. So I have to pick the sturdiest yeah. thing now. Yeah. But we pick what you think I will think is the sturdiest yeah. thing. Yeah. Yes. So just point at one. Okay. I think that's probably my best option because everything you have is robotic. <laughs> well, be aware, he chooses what he thinks I'm going to say yeah, is yeah, sturdiest. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, I see. You chose sturdiest because they're all robots. Okay. Exactly. I got it. I got exactly. it. Exactly. Okay. 
All right. I've there's... made my choice. You've made your choice. And I'm not pointing off. at it anymore. Yep. Yeah. Okay. 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 So let me. I gotta stand up here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, what is the sturdiest? Is it the rock star, the clown robot, the tapper, the Minotaur de Force, or the one clown bat? So the Minotaur de Force, not that sturdy. Um. I think the rock star is literally made out of rock. Yes. Dang it! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. I also chose the rock star. So now I yes. create two one one red balloons. Yeah. So get, get you some balloons. And then I sacrifice this. Goes to the scrapyard. Yeah. The junkyard. Technology. Junkyard. Sorry. Scrapyard is for the contraction. I'm come, sorry. Yeah. I almost wrote it. And then I open up. <laughs> cover the spots. That's so a different game. Now on every number except one and five, I have to drop cards onto this. And so whenever you win, yeah. by the way, the games, there are certain um, attractions that have a prize. When you win the prize, you sacrifice them, and then you replace them with another. Um, they always sort of rotate to give yourself another one. Early on, we didn't do that, and people that got good at games were just winning every turn. And mm. we're like, okay, you win once, fine. We'll let you do something else. Oh, yeah, so, okay. Cool. I'll play a planes and go to combat. Yep. Okay, these have summoning sickness, but I can get in with this. Oh, God. This. And this. Rawr. Uh, that happens to be exactly lethal, Nelson. I have a blocker. Yeah. You Wait. should block. I think this is, is this a robot? No. Okay, so I'm not just dead Th on. These are both robots. So I have to block here. I can't trade with the 2-1, which is kind of, because like this at least sets me up to do something else. Right. But if I, if I don't block this, do you have enough mana to just pump and I'm dead either way? Yeah, I mean, I if you don't have a trick, I am just going <laughs> to yeah, pump yeah, yeah, both yeah. these robots. Yeah, no, I have uh, okay, four lines in here. Okay. All, right. All right, don't forget to yeah. shuffle in your Oblivion ring. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, take stickers off. Right. Yes, remove the stickers. So and go the, way, two. the trick of that is look at your sticker sheet and see what's missing. That, that's the way to know whether you've removed all your stickers. All right, so let's be honest. Game one, not great for search. <laughs> right, I have this sticker as well. Uh, as a quick note, I believe you ruled, uh, or you decided that DK did not have a hat. Oh, yeah. I thought I thought we did do that. Yep. Oh, let's see. I, I oh, it does have a little thing on top. Oh, oh no. I did not. I did not look at it. Darn. Oh, she does have a hat. Okay, that's does she. Well, well it's, for next game. What, let, 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 let me look at my glasses. Let me get my glasses out. What's I, I noticed it because the alternate art, like the the other art of DK, oh. is more obvious. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Oh, she is. Yeah. Yeah. So. The employees of the park have a certain sort of beanie that they wear, and she is wearing the beanie. I'm sorry. I did not look at the card and thought my glasses No, that's okay. I just could see that's so okay. much yeah. of her hair that I thought it was no hat, yeah. So we're down a game, but in our hearts, we all know that Surge is actually up a game here. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I didn't I didn't mention it during the game because it said, like, you, you guys had kind of decided no, on No, 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 that's but, fair. Yeah. But now for future reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, that's, no, she does have, yeah, I, I can see it there. She, she has a little beanie. Yeah, it's there's, there's very a little, subtle. Uh, it's very the subtle. employees wear this, uh, not all of them, but some of them wear this little beanie hat that has like, it's a beanie with a little like space antenna on it. Mm. So. There it, could be a point though that, you know, with alternate arts for the cards, some, you know, oh, no, no, some that, might have. The, the way the alternate arts work is they took the original art from the artist and then did their interpretation of it, but they're copying the original art. So it should, if you have a hat in the original, you should have a hat in the. Mm. Oh, excellent, uh, excellent. Yes, so. That, that was on purpose. And we were very conscious of hats. So, we, some, like, we were very aware when talking to artists about whether things had hats and not had hats and stuff like that. All right, my warm up game is done. I'm ready for the best of three to start now. Okay. Ex I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had to work hard for that game. I had to flip that trapeze artist. Oh. And Let's be yeah. honest. Even even if my if I knew the 1 4 had a, had a hat, I think I'm on the back foot, like, pretty heavily there. The tapper uh, fight was pretty relevant. Yeah, the tapper fight was so relevant. But. It's true, DK can really like swing the game wide open. Yeah, well, the well, six and start regrowing stuff yeah. too. Yeah, yeah and get yeah, those back. Get I don't think I really leveraged my three one with lifelink as well as it could have either. Like, there's the threat <sighs> sure. of keeping it back. Mm -hmm. So, like, a, a couple of loose plays by me, but like, a, not an easy game either way either. This was like not yeah. a very straightforward game. I had a pretty good start. Yeah. yeah. Well, that tapper fight, that tapper fight, basically took all the computational power. And I don't know if one, you know this. One of your cards is rotated. Oh, oh thank you. We got a boxed card. <laughs> Oops. Uh, in my rider, I'm not a gamer Just before 11 a.m., so it's, it's real tough for me. <laughs> yeah. Just a performer employee. Yeah. Zombie cleric. Yeah. Yeah. All the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Judge Coffeomancer. That's right. <laughs> Judge Yeah, but not gamer. Not a gamer until 11 a.m. Well, good. I've uh, still got an <laughs> hour and 15 minutes to yeah, win good this luck match. To friend. Good yeah. luck to you, too. I had okay. just the rock star oh, box. Let's, let's they, also, want it. they want yeah. everyone to see them. They want fame. <laughs> yeah. Let's also shuffle our uh, yes. oh, yeah, attraction shuffle. decks. I can. 
That, that was one of the services provided yesterday by the... Oh, okay. The, the, Excellent. The, the table friend is shuffling the attraction deck. Would you like to play first search? Oh, please. Okay. No, let the aggro player draw, uh, play. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be mulling. I'll keep. Oh, no. Aggro player kept seven cards. So, uh, a little story about your deck. Yes. Um, for a good chunk of the time, it was a clown... It, uh, we cared about clowns rather than robots. But two things happened that changed our mind. One was there's three cards in the deck that aren't clowns. There are robots that aren't clowns. Okay. A doodle, for example, one of the ones we saw, right. is a, a, a robot but not a clown. Okay. And there's two common ones, too. Uh, and there were some other sets, like Warhammer 40,000, that has robots in it. And so by making it robot tribal, it played... We thought there was more chance of more, like, other set, Universe Beyond sets and stuff having robots in them than clowns. And so we changed it from clown to robot. There is one clown carrying card. Uh, there's, there's a, it's called Clown Tron. Uh, Omni Clown Co Colossus. And that card has affinity for clowns. So that's the one card that specifically cares about clowns. Omni Clown Colossus. Omni yes, Clown Colossus. Good. Yeah, it's called Clown Tron in, in Playtest. Clown Tron? <laughs> there's, there's, there's not a lot of clowns in the 40K uh, set. <laughs> yes. The Warhammer 40,000 less clowns or clowns. That's a shame. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, but one of the things as we started in Universes Beyond, we, we, I love the idea of looking at, like, it was fun to me, like, oh, you can make a robot deck and we might have other robots. And, oh, for example, we just previewed um, the Transformers that are going to come in Brothers War. Right. And those are robots. So mm -hmm. caring about robots meant you could actually pull in more things and, you know, so we changed it to robots, caring about robots. Going down to five. She should probably, you could probably argue that the Harlequins are clown yeah, evil, I, evil. People are asking 40. now that clown exists. Are we going to go back and change some old stuff to clown? Mm, so technically, right. Harlequins could be clowns in theory. I don't okay. know if we are, but okay. I'm good. I kept seven. You're ready to play? I'm ready. Okay, good luck, <laughs> Serge. All right, I have an extremely strong start. Excellent. All right, full arc planes. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. We hadn't seen that one yet. Yeah, I like Ooh, it. Yeah, the planetary planes. Someone, uh, I've got a whiteboarded mountain. Back to you. All right. Now I'm warning you. Very, very strong here. Full art island. Nice. Oh, it's it's, it's full art combo. Prize wall. Prize wall. Zero four defender seems good. Yep. Go to you. This one seems like it was an important common that kind of anchored the strategy of mm. stickers. Yeah, yeah. Prize wall. If you're playing blue and you care about stickers, prize wall is really important. So. Okay, I have minotaur to four, so I'll take one ticket, uh, and then I will put. Uh, how about this really cool tiara <clears throat> onto okay. the minotaur? Ch change up her hats for the. For yeah, this one. different yeah. hat. Here we go. She's got this is a good performer hat. It kind of Yeah. Is this like got a little space stuff on it? Is this like a Boshan's hat or something? Yeah. Put that on there. Oh yeah. It's a it's a little uh, astrotorium hat. It's showing nice. off the Okay, back to you. Now remember how I was saying that in my three packs I opened one full what? art land of each one. And what are the chances wow. that I would have all three in an opener? Most powerful mold of five we've seen all day. So should we just go to game three and call this my winner? <laughs> no, I've got this hat. I want to do things with it. <laughs> That's fair. You need to earn it just like I did. That is fair. All right. Pass. <laughs> oh no. No third land for Nelly. But I have another Minotaur to force. <laughs> And I get a second ticket, and I think I'll probably just cash it in for that same bolster ability. Uh, yeah, that's my favorite here. This is the powerful combat oh, stick, this sticker is so I bad got. For Surge. And then I'll attack with both. So here, if anyone yeah. wants to look at that one. Yep. I'm going to bolster one. Yeah, they have haste. The Minotaur has haste. Yeah, yeah, they both have haste, so I'll try yeah. to get in for two here. I'll yeah. block the three, two. Great. I'll take two, go down to 18. Okay, back to you, Surge. Uh, end step. I'm going to activate the prize wall. Awesome. And get myself a sticker. Ticket. A ticket. A ticket. Yeah. Right. Stickers come later. Untap. Untap. Draw for the turn. All right. Come on and high roll. So I got a planes. That's an island. Got an island. And I'm going to cast the Vidalkin Squirrel Whacker. Okay. So this is a four mana star star. As it enters the battlefield, roll a six sided die twice. Okay. Its base power becomes the first result, and its base toughness becomes the second result. If you would roll one or more six-sided die, instead roll them, and you may exchange one of the rolled results with its power and toughness. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. So I've got... Okay, so first let's roll for power. Four power. Four power. Now let's roll for toughness. Four. <laughs> a, a four, four. Okay. All right. All right. Four, four, four. All right. All right. We got a wall of thick booties to keep Nelly back here. Sounds good. Pass. Okay, I have a third mountain. 
and Carnival Barker. Oh, it's so cute! We've got a cute little 3-3 dog employee that taps to give me 30 seconds to laud a creature I control to any people outside the game. Until end of turn, that creature gets trample and haste and plus X plus O, where X is the number of those people who applauded. So, oh. we'll see. At, at a game store, this might be a slightly stronger card. Oh my god. Um, it's, it still always grants the, the haste and trample. Okay. Uh, it just, the plus X plus O is... How many people are? Applying. Can you imagine and playing that at Magic Fest and just? <laughs> oh my God! Get like judged to count. You know, at, yeah. at Magic Thirty on the Saturday night at Magic Thirty, we have I think over four hundred people playing in an event. <sighs> nice. It might be really strong in that. <laughs> event. It's gonna end games instantly. Like that is a must kill. If you untap yeah. with that, you win. <laughs> If they feel like Who's not going to clap for the dog? <laughs> Maybe they're not going to hear you. You know, there's various the skill testing measures that go I into guess play so. here. Yeah, what if you have the charisma of a piece of toast? <laughs> I, I guess so. <laughs> okay. But I think you have to earn the applause. You, you, right. you can't yeah. just... This, you, you're like, clap for doggo. <laughs> you're not allowed to ask you the clap, by the right. way. It's, it right. also <laughs> has one more sentence, which is really important. Activate only as a sorcery and only once. Which I oh, assume means per total game. per game, yeah. Per game, not yeah. like lifetime. Exactly. <laughs> per, game. per game, yeah. Only once per game, so all I right. can't give all my creatures haste. Back I feel to you, slightly Switch. better about that then. Yeah. Yeah. So a one-time thing. Yeah. Oh. We originally, by the way, it wasn't, and Playtest showed us it needed to be a one-time thing. <laughs> sure. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna slide some things over here. I like it this way. I'm gonna tap all of my fancy lands to bring down the. Actually, yes. The Seasoned Buttoneer. Ooh. This is a three mana 2-2 two, two Vidalcan employee. When it enters the battlefield, open an attraction. And the flavor text says, everyone comments on the buttons, but few appreciate the pedals. Welcome to the Gift Shop. This is a rare attraction. Choose one that hasn't been chosen. So I can only use this each mode can be used once. There's five modes. Five okay. modes. I can create a 1-1 one, one red balloon. Times. I can create a 2-2 two, two pink teddy bear token. I can create two food tokens. I can get three stickers, or I may put a sticker on a non-land permanent that I own. Okay. So say hello to the gift and shop. And it hits on a 4-5-6? Hits on a 4-5-6, right. or any number if I want to exchange the power of toughness. Sounds good. On the whacker there. So you have a 3-2, a 3-2, and a 3-3. Three, three. A 2-1, two, a 3-2, three, and a 3-3, three, three, yeah. Well. We have the if bolster. I attack, yeah, yeah, if I attack, yeah, that's right. Yeah, the gift shop originally had a mode that let you trade it in once it was empty, and it just didn't fit, so we took it away. So if I attack, I could trade for one of your creatures, which isn't great. I can I can take the seasonal, like would I trade the Vidalcan Squirrel Whacker for the seasoned Barker? Feels bad. I don't think that's worth. Uh, in which case, I'll just pass. I tap. Yeah. All right. I kept this hand. It had two Minotaur to forces in it. Um, Almost like there's a color in your deck. That's yeah, not. exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just supposed to pass. Go ahead, search. Uh, end step. Okay. Sticker. Sure. Right. If you keep saying sticker, we mean ticket. 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 Pardon me. Ticket. Yeah. Untap. 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 Draw. Let's go to the. Uh, let's see if we can visit the gift shop. Okay. Six. We sure can. It's a four six now. Sure. I rolled a four. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> All that. right. Um, I would like to add. I would like to add uh, three tickets, please. Three tickets. Here yeah. we go. Exciting. I got you. Yeah. Got three tickets at the gift shop. Uh, I really like this squirrel whacker. I think it's pretty thick. It's a weird <laughs> descriptor. <laughs> Don't know why I said that. So I'm going to tap the prize wall as a sorcery, spending five mana, and I'd like to spend... So I guess at this point, Nelly has priority, and if he doesn't respond, then I get to do a sticker? That's fine. You can, your sticker okay. can resolve. I'm going to spend three tickets to okay. put the hexproof sticker cool. on my 4-6. Sounds good. All right. So it... Uh... So hexproof means it can't be targeted by the opponent, uh, spells or abilities. We don't use hexproof a lot these days, but we, do, right. uh, we use it occasionally. So this well, is, you the, used up all the abilities on these sticker sheets, right? <laughs> we did. We yeah. used lots of abilities. So they, uh, the, the, sh the dice are casting a shadow. So I tried to put it in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Be aware, uh, the ability <laughs> is additive, meaning no matter where you put it on the card, it doesn't take away anything underneath it okay. with your abilities. It, 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 it's there. The, everything underneath it's still there. Amazing. Would you like to attack for four? Uh, n no. Okay. I, was, I, I honestly thought about it, trying to get in, but then it leaves me pretty open on the crackback. So I'm going to just pass you instead. Okay. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. All 
All right, we hit fourth mountain. <laughs> Actually does open up some possibilities. Uh, I can't do that, but I could do that. Hmm. Well... Like, I don't know what's scary. Let me just read this clown <laughs> robot one more time. <laughs> Like, I don't know if my end game is better. Like, if I get my weird engine stuff online, it's better than racing before he draws a white source. Mm -hmm. Maybe if this thing becomes a 6-6, six, six, then I start trundling in. But I could also just wait and keep, um, just keep creating more and more stickers and make everything... Tickets. Tickets, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, tickers and stickets. Yeah, oh, my God. <laughs> Tickets do allow you to cast the more powerful stickers. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. Okay, this isn't much of anything, but I'll cast well done targeting the prize wall. No, my prize wall, my late game engine. Yeah. All right, well, so much for that plan. And prize wall's common, so it, it doesn't. Uh, no no extra damage, yeah. yeah. That's okay, back to you, Surge. Trying to see if there's a hat on the prize wall anywhere. <laughs> the prize wall's not wearing a hat. It doesn't have a hat, Does I guess. Does it contain a hat? I, I think it has a hat on the wall. Uh, on the right side, sort of right next to the teddy bear, there's a pretty good hat. Carnival Barker's holding a hat. Yeah, you, you, uh, um, that's a good point. There is a hat on the wall, and I guess the wall has the hat. It's on the wall, so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, guess, I have yes, the ability yes. to, re to reanimate a it, hat. It has a hat. Sure, it has a hat. <laughs> All right, untap, untap. I'd like to uh, roll to visit the gift shop. Yes. Oh, crap. Uh, that, was was that was a four. That was a four. Uh, and I'm going to leave it as a four, Great. Uh, which is also an active here. And uh, let's go ahead and give myself a 1-1 one, one ballooned token here, because they've got flying. Got it. All right. Red balloon. I, I didn't draw for the turn. I did the order wrong. Okay. No, because I had two cards in hand. What am I more afraid of here? Mortality. <laughs> Fair. That's the scariest. Uh, I'm going to cast this uh, ride guide. Nice. Five mana, four, four. This time, you open an attraction. I yes, got it right this you time. Open attraction. Yeah, so let's add a second uh, one. I think the line cutter is the only <laughs> one that eat, enters the battlefield and has you visit rather mm. than open. So. From the weapons kiosk, visit. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. That creature gains vigilance until end of turn. Seems quite good. So that's there. And um, we have a three, three. I'm going to pass. Okay. You didn't read the flight protection. Oh, I'm so sorry. Nothing is safe in the hands of an eight-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, finally. I hit a planes. Oh, no. That's right. I have planes now. Um, you have a balloon, and your things get plus one, plus one. That's wild. OK. Let's, oh, I wish I had two planes, so that's OK. Yeah. We'll play Robo Pinata. I am filled with delicious candy. I am not a trick. Uh, this is a 2-1 clown robot with when Robo Pinata dies, choose one. You get two tickets, or you may put a sticker on an online permanent you want. I wonder if I'm supposed to. There's only two people in the room that could possibly applaud, and they probably neither of them will. So just giving the 2-1 haste doesn't seem incredible to me. Back to you, Serge. All right, untap. If you untap. do a good law, okay, I, I, I might applaud. Yeah, but, but you have to earn it. But I mean, even getting a 4-1 yeah. doesn't get through the 4-6. That's the problem, yeah. All right, draw for the turn. Attraction step. So a 2 does allow me to put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on it and give it vigilance. But hold on, hold on, hold on. If I swap it for a 4, is that better? This might seem risky, but I'm going to actually say that I rolled a 4. Okay. And I'm going to put a sticker on a non-land permanent that I control. Okay. okay. And you don't have a flyer. It just so happens that my flyer is not a 1-1. One, one. <clears throat> I see. For the cost of two tickets, I'm going to put the power changing 4-2 sure. onto the balloon. So it's now a 4-2 flyer. Powerful. And remember, you, you, have, you have the foam weapon kiosk as well. Right. You need to roll a four for that. Well, I have oh, to, it's no, a no, two no. or six oh, on that six. one. Oh, yeah, I yeah. So I change I it from a two to a four. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you would have had it if you kept the two. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Uh, I'd like to go to attacks. Please. Attack you for four in the air. I take four. All right. Uh, let's play the park map. Okay. And then I'm immediately going to crack the park map. So this is a one mana artifact. Sacrifice, search your library for land that doesn't have the same art as a permanent you control. Reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle. It's always up to date. So visitors know what rides are open, how long the lines are, and which areas are closed due to gremlins. Now, before the game started, I actually deliberately chose different art 
for every yeah. single one of my basics. <laughs> so I'm safe to grab whatever I need, and I'm actually going to get a second white source. So this planes, can we just confirm that there's no art that matches this planes? That is, is it correct. on the battlefield or? On the battlefield. I mean, you're on your side. Oh, that I, I control. Have, I don't right? have yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was yeah. like, wait a second, wait they, a second. They, they, you control that. Yeah. That. Um, okay. And I put it into my hand, and I'm going to play it as my land for the turn because I haven't played one yet. That's awesome. I hadn't read that yet. I didn't realize it sort of incentivizes you to play a spread of lands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, what is it? Pawns of players everywhere unite. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Uh, yes. OK. Thank you. Time to uh, get my head in the game here. Oh, that's too bad. And I'm a little bit worried of um, about this thing getting out of control. OK. So I'm going to O-ring this, and I'm going to put this here. And again, the way this card works is for so long as this is attached to my head, your T card is oblivion Touching ringed. your head, yeah. yeah. Sounds good. But at any point, if it comes off of my head, you get your creature back, and I have to sacrifice this. And I would stress, you are not allowed to knock your opponent's card off of their head. Yeah, please that's, don't that, touch your opponent's head. That is unsporting conduct. Right. It has to naturally fall, not that you knocked it off. OK. Um, I'll attack with the ride guide. Yeah, this lets me favorably two for one you if you wanna if you wanna block. And I'm, I think I'm okay with that. Yeah. Um. I'm into it. Yep. All right. That's fine. Okay. So these both die. I can either get two tickets or put a sticker on an online permanent I control. What would you like? I'll just take two tickets. Tickets, please. <laughs> Thank you. Two tickets to paradise. Awesome. All right. Pass. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm a big cheater. What's wrong? What? That was the same turn I attacked you in the air with a 4-2. I couldn't attack a second turn. <laughs> okay. We all missed that I just oh, attacked oh, twice. Oh. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, because I attacked. I went to my pre-k. I'm at my sure. post main. Okay. I O-ringed your creature, and then Thanks. I attacked again. Right, I'm sorry. sorry. What am I doing? Okay. Wow, that was that I, was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All I thought about was, did Riot hide, hide enter the battlefield this turn? And I That's was what like, I was thinking nah, too. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah this doesn't have so many Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. All right, I put my creatures back. I gave the tickets back. <laughs> right. Judge battle. <laughs> I wasn't oh, even going to catch it. I the, drew my card for the turn. The loosest magic is the judge fight. Yeah. All right, go to you. OK, great. Uh, we'll make that. We can make that block next turn. <laughs> I've got Tapper. Oh, no. Uh, with the 1-2 clown robot we've seen before. Yeah. Technically advanced, people-pleasing, entertainment robot, eh? And then who's got hats? We've got two hats on the Barker two. and the, yeah, and the Minotaur. Two. That's right, yeah. Okay. So we still have a hat. And then I also have. Ticking Mime Bomb. So this is a 2-2 clown robot mime, and when it enters the battlefield without speaking or indicating any specific creature, pantomime to a person outside the game. Then they choose a creature you don't control. Ticking Mime Bomb deals damage equal to twice the number of robots you control to the chosen creature. Uh, and I have three robots right now. Now, you can respond to this ability if you want, before I get into the pantomiming. But oh, not no, after I, I get into I've the pantomiming. Got, I've got no response. OK, so what are we doing here? Mark is going to okay, close. I will be excited. Uh, so he's got a pantomime, a, a, a creature. He's not allowed to point or anything. And from his pantomime, I have to pick what I think the target is based okay. on what his pantomime and is. And he's he's targeting one of my creatures. One of your creatures, okay. yes. Great. All right. So, so let's make the, the, it obvious that we can see the, the art balloon, on everything. There's the seasonal button air, there's the ride guide, and there's Vidalcan Squirrel Whacker. Um, but the Vidalcan Squirrel Whacker has Hex Dwarf, you know. Uh, and that targets? I believe that targets. Sometimes it's, if it's name, it might get around it. We have oh, to word it. Up. Hold on, you might. Have, I don't my glass. All right. Enters the battlefield without speaking or indicating any specific creature. Pantomime to a person outside the game. Then they choose a creature you don't control. Deals damage equal to twice the number. Doesn't say target anywhere. Oh, it doesn't say target anywhere. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now give me a second. Uh, how long was it for the the pantomime? There's no time. There's, There's no, no time? time. I mean, you shouldn't take too long. But All right. Okay. All right. Let's uh, Nelson go. Okay. Okay, I will say that is the balloon. No! The balloon <laughs> takes six. It takes six? It's twice the number of robots I control. Oh, my poor balloon. Wait, it. Yeah, it, it, so this leaves the game. Right, so the so sticker, the sticker comes does off come yeah, off. Yeah. Although, if it would go into a graveyard, it would keep the sticker on. If you had on. Claire de Lune in play, uh, it would stay in a, a card in other zones, and thus it would keep the sticker. All right, so, so I'll pass the foil balloon back to you. Okay. My win con. My creatures are all still tiny, so I will say go. All right, untap, untap, untap. 
Draw for the turn. Attractions. Attractions. <laughs> Let's grab the D12. <laughs> Three is actually a two. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, which why. works on the foam kiosk. So I get to put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature I control, and it gains vigilance until end of turn. Awesome. Okay. So if I made this a five, five, it then very favorably trades. It trades up in a neat way. Yeah, I'll put it on the, the ride guide here. Uh, if I may, can we use it a, a green one just to, oh, sure. just to differentiate? I appreciate that. Thank you. All right. All right. I was matching the creature color. No, I appreciate <laughs> that. Yeah. Uh, well, it might not be relevant because this is probably going to die. If I swing in with both, what happens? It gives Nelson a free block. Now he just eats it. All right. Attacking you with a 5 5 with vigilance. <clears throat> no blocks. Ooh. Nelly takes five. Going to cast the rat in the hat. So it is a 1-2 Rat Rogue, tap and sacrifice it. Until end of turn, you may cast a target creature card that has a hat from your graveyard. Uh, we've established earlier that the prize wall is not yeah. wearing a hat, but, but it has, it has a, a hat. hat. Yeah. Great. Uh, all right, past you. Your tapper is now online. Okay, I'm tapping. Hmm. I think I like that. How many things have you used from the gift shop? Uh, I have used two modes. I have given myself three tickets and I have used a sticker and so, a balloon. And the balloon. So I only have the food tokens and the two two teddy bear left. Okay. All right then. <clears throat> uh, writes down disenchant. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I think I'm fine with that. Okay, it's impounding lot bot. Three and a white for a three four artifact creature robot. When impounding lot bot enters the battlefield, you may say incarcerate in a robot voice. If you do, exile another target artifact or enchantment until I'm pounding a lot bot leaves the battlefield. So I would like to incarcerate your foam oh, weapons kiosk. Yeah, that's a good hit. All right. So if when this uh, leaves the battlefield, you get it back. Oh! Yeah, it's yeah. like a fiend hunter for enchantments. It's been put into time. Mr. Grabby yeah. Hands. What was that one? Laying in It's been order. impounded. Mm. That's right. Uh, you have a 3 6 and a 5 5. Go ahead. Untap. Draw. Uh, roll for attractions. Would you like to have my a three two? two? My yeah. two. Uh, I will. I will visit no attractions. All right. Two things are going to happen here. After I play this land, that doesn't count as the, the two things. <laughs> okay. Two more things. Uh, the first thing is your hat tapping robot is uh, getting a little bit of motion sickness oh. from going on too many rides. Too many rides. Yeah. Dead. Um, let's respond by tapping. Is it Minotaur Force or someone else with a hat? I guess the Mime Bomb is possibly better. Oh, well, it's got two toughness. Sure, I'll just tap the Minotaur and Tapper to tap Riot Guide. All right. Riot Guide is tapped. So this is now attached, and whenever I go to an attraction, right. uh, I can also move this around onto another tapped creature. Got it. Which is kind of cool. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tap and sack the rat in a hat to cast from my graveyard the prize wall. So the prize wall is back online. You got it back. I got it back. Pass. Don't untap Tapper. OK. Hmm. I have a second planes. Uh, I have to think about what to do with my life. I wonder if that's bad for me. Yeah, this is probably He has right. to think about what to do with his life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought Tapper was going to be online this turn. Um, sure. We'll just leave one of these lands untapped and cast. Goblin Blastronauts. 5-4 uh, Goblin Employee, when this enters the battlefield, open an attraction. Whenever you roll a 6, you may copy the spell ability or attraction visit that caused you to roll that die. You this may is choose really new targets cool. for the copy. Yeah, it's, I, it got a lot of work at the PPR. Yeah, right? it definitely yeah. did. We're opening up Cover the Spot. Ooh, cover the Spot. So if I roll a 6, I get to have two chances, I guess. Well, if you roll a 6, you get to roll a second die again. And then okay. that die may or may not let you visit. Yeah, next. right. Yeah, okay, we, we actually, actually got that wrong the first yeah. time in the PPR, okay. where what we did is we copied the effect. 
that got copied. But what actually you're supposed to do is you're supposed to roll again because the roll oh, okay. is what it's gets copied. Right? Not and the... if you roll a six on the second time, then it again it'll yeah, get yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Okay, so yeah. the Glastronauts maybe like to stay and hang out at the Astrotorium rides for a really long time. Just get back in the queue. And that's a great thing about them. And I think I would like to laud the Goblin Bastronauts. Oh, no. oh, James? No. Oh, no. Are you within earshot? No? Paul? Okay, Paul. And um, I have 30 seconds. Sorry, do you want to time me? I won't, I won't start yet. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 30 seconds, starting, three, two, one. Step right up here, everybody. Come on, check out these Goblin Blastronauts. We're talking about a five mana, five, four Goblin employee, but that's not it. We've still got a triggered ability. Every time it enters the battlefield, you get to open a new attraction. That's fantastic. There's all kinds of great attractions here. You could see all sorts of attractions, like maybe you want to cover the spot, or maybe you want to go to the gift shop. These Blastronauts can send you there. What else? That's not enough for you? You also want to see a bunch of rockets shoot out of their back? That's great. They've got harpoon rockets. they got balloon rockets. they got all kinds of rockets. One of them's even riding a rocket there in the background. Wow. Dang it. Wow. No applause from Paul. <laughs> Carnival Barker's job is harder than I thought. Maybe it helps if you're a really cute dog. I don't know what you need to do to get people to clap for you these okay. days. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, so what happens? You got plus one, one plus zero, haste and trample. So it's a six, four? Yeah, I'll get it. But this has six. I know. That's Look, bad. it only happens for one turn. <laughs> you know what? I'll take the six. This is my one opportunity, one moment. One I got chance. bad news for you. James just walked in. He's like, what just happened? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Back to you. All right. Untap. Untap. I don't have a hand anymore. When did that happen? James, did you know if you clap, you can deal damage to Surge directly? <laughs> <laughs> you missed your opportunity. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. All right. right. Attraction time. The three hit? No. Uh, you want to make a three-three? No. No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> All right. Uh, what can I do with my life here? It's <laughs> a good question. These are questions we have to ask A lot of deep philosophical... Uh, yeah. But what can I do with my life? What can I do with my life? Uh, you have a 3-4 now. I can't even attack. Yeah, I get... Uh, no? Okay. So he has a 5-4 the turn after. If he attacks back, I can then profitably block with the 3-6. I'm at 12. The Barker's offline. You have how many cards in hand? Two. Just like trying to analyze this very silly game from a strategic <laughs> point of view. Yeah, that's what we have to do here. No, because he's never blocked with a 3-4. Um, if we get him with a 5, I start clearing stuff. Maybe he just gets stickers online, which is also kind of spooky. This has already done its thing. It's an ETB, right? Yeah, you don't have ETB. to worry about it. Yeah, it's just, it's just a creature now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trundle in for 5. Yeah, that seems right. Like, I think Nelson's low enough that I maybe start clearing the board or start putting serious enough pressure on it that it's okay. Sorry. No, 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 no. This means I made the right choice. <laughs> I'll, I'm going to jump block with the clown robot. Okay. I'll get two tickets. Okay. Um, pass. Oh, you sorry. Have, you have that's, yeah, that's yeah. this. Yeah. Four. We hit. Drop three cards I own from outside the game, one at a time. So we'll put this here. Okay. So um, we just need three magic cards. I got some. Got some. Okay. okay. Sideboard cards, I guess. Okay, it's fine. Okay. okay. So you're gonna drop them from a height of a foot. Uh, they don't have to rotate or anything. Right. You're just trying, and this is based on an actual carnival game. Right. Um, although normally it's like a circle, uh, and you're trying to cover completely cover the card by dropping the three cards on it. Okay. <laughs> Off to the races here, kids. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think you're a little higher Unless... than you need to be. You only need to be a foot. <laughs> okay. Well. Well, the good news is the HVAC system works great in here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. what we're blaming. Definitely strong breeze in it's here. It's the strong yeah. breeze. Yeah. 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 Strongest of breezes, really. Uh, let's follow up pre-combat with Doodle Caricaturist. Ooh, Doodle. So I have a marker here. So why don't you read, read yeah, Doodle? Yeah, so yeah, I will yeah, for okay. it. So 
When Doodle Characterist enters the battlefield, create a 4-4 four, four four, colorless four. sketch token. So I think I'm allowed to put the 4-4 four, four in the bottom here before the timer starts. And then... Which you have 15 seconds to draw! The token has flying if it has wings. The same is true for First Strike and a Sword, Vigilance and a Shield, Menace and Mean Eyes, Trample and Horns, Death Touch and Claws, Life Link and Fangs, Haste and Footwear. Okay, I have 15 seconds here. Okay, ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Go. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five. I'm done. Four. Pencils down. Three. <laughs> okay, pencils down. He just wanted wings, <laughs> boots, and fangs. You just want a flying lifelink four four. You made. You've made. Haste. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's put it on the on the the uh, card what? reader. Yeah. Here we go. It's called Sketch. <laughs> I keep showing up for these uh, these nights when we do. Jackbox uh, drawing games, even though this is the quality of my output. Man, that's like the scariest red white angel I think they've ever made. <laughs> it was six mana. Um, go to combat? Yeah, but I, like if there was. I, a, if, I like that he made eyes, but made no attempt to make them mean eyes. No, uh, you're right. I could have just <laughs> done mean <laughs> eyes for oh, minutes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. Like if, if that was four red and a white, I'd play that. Yeah, definitely. It's like, a decent uh, little dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, go to combat? Yeah, this is a problem. Okay, 4-4 four, four, lifelink case. Yeah. Flying. I, I take 4, you gain 4. Great. Well, no, not for me, but it's for great. me it's not. <laughs> no, it's great. Go ahead. Alright, untap. Draw. Interesting. A six. You definitely go to your attractions on a six. Well, hold on. No, or maybe you want to have a six-six Fidelkin. <laughs> yeah, this is very interesting here. So a couple things are going to happen. One, um, when you visit an attraction, you may attach motion motion sickness. Okay, so that's very important. Um, so I do move. need to visit an attraction. So if I make it a 6-6, right. six, six, this you doesn't don't move. Get to visit an so I'm going to keep the 6. Kay. I'm going to use sure. the ability here to move it onto another tapped creature so you I don't it. die in the air. You got it. Uh, the tapper is online. And then my options right now are two food tokens or a 2-2 two, two teddy bear. Uh, I, I'm I, have, I have both here. Okay. Um, Which would you like, two food or a teddy bear? God, I'm at 8. How big is the alpha But you stopped here? the flyer. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I think I actually take the, the teddy bear. Okay. It's really not that much surge because you have a hex proof I can't tap. So say I tap your five five, and then you have good blocks for both of these. So you take like one two three four five six seven eight. <laughs> Wait, maybe it's great. Maybe it's a great alpha strike. <laughs> yeah. So I have another two two there. Okay, teddy bears on the field. Oh my gosh, that token art. Yep. It's a two two pink teddy bear. Yeah. God, can I afford to wait? Your board just got so much better. With a 5-4. Okay, so you're always tapping this. So there's no reason for me not to attack with it. Um, I'm at 8. Oh, God, wait. So if I attack with this, if I attack with both of these, uh, that puts you... Oh, you're at 15? I gained 4 life. Yeah, Why did you gain so much life? This is the worst. Because it's got fangs. Because <laughs> fangs, yeah. It turns Man. out fangs gain your life. How many times did you practice that at home, by the way? Zero. <laughs> Please lie to me. I'm sorry. I made a mental plan of how to draw wings, <laughs> the, 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 or to draw the wings first. Yeah, um, I definitely, I definitely attack with the ride guide because then you tap down a two-two, but I've got to run in two-two, and it's not as bad. Sure. All right, I attack for five. Um, which is not as scary when you're not at eleven. I think I'll just block with the five-four. Oh, yeah. Okay. You've got a three-six anyway. Pretty happy to clear that. Wait. Ooh, you fool. You've activated my park re-entry. Great. So five mana. I actually didn't know that was good for me uh, until I read the card. So return up to two target creature cards that each have hats and or a mana value of three or less. And it turns out the ride guide and the rat in a hat are both wearing hats. Do they though? So we have the ride guide mm. the ride guy has the employee hat. hat, and the rat in a hat has hat in its very name. But what about yeah, you? Do you have a hat on? Yes. Can I see? No. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Uh, when ride guide enters the battlefield, I get to open another attraction. 
Uh, we've got the bumper cars. Target creature must be blocked this turn if able. Okay. So bumper cars is back. And I left a blue mana untapped because I'm very good at this game. We'll just go like this because I just want to make all the cards that have abilities visible and relevant. And I'm going to say pass. Okay. Untapping. Drawing a card, visiting an attraction. Maybe. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's okay. try again. <laughs> I think you were a little higher than a foot. You only need okay, to be a foot all right, out. All right. Like here? Yeah, about there. Okay. Oh, very strong start. Okay. Oh. Could we might do it? Mm. Okay, nice we're try. improving. Nice we're improving. Try. improving. Huge improvement. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I have a spell. It's circuits act. <laughs> Uh, a three mana sorcery. Roll three six sided dice. For each different result, create a one one white clown robot artifact oh. creature token. So you just want to roll different dice. Right. You don't want to roll the same number. Right. And it says another day, another item Pietra has to add to the do not juggle database. I got a five, three, and a one. You nailed it. Great. Yeah. Okay, so three, three one ones for three. Great. So I uh, uh, I have two ones that have hats, but then I have one that doesn't have hats. So. All right. That's fine. Uh, okay, so my board is real wide, but Surge's life total is still pretty high. Um, I, can, I could do this. I have 15. Yeah, sure. No, I'll, I'll just wait. Go ahead, Surge. All right, end step. I would like a ticket, please. Ticket, please. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Untap, untap, untap. Oh, here. We'll give you a little ticket box to put your tickets on. Fantastic. Get a little, sure ticket, that, little ticket bucket. Thank you. Is. Oh, ticket bucket bot. Love that. Let's make sure it's on camera. Put it down by my lands here. All right. So, draw step. Um, visit the attraction step. Roll a three. Do I want to change a three to anything else? Three is an Right. Your gift shop is four, five, change. six, and yeah. your bumper cards are two, four, six. Yeah. yeah. It's nice to have a six waiting whenever it's worth yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of cool, eh? Yeah. Uh, I think I'm fine to miss on okay. that. I'll put that away. Uh, let's play DK. DK's back. Ooh, right. DK returns. Yeah. So DK is a 1-4 legendary zombie employee. Uh, when they enter the battlefield, I may open an attraction. And then whenever I roll a 2, lose a life, a 4, uh, tap or untap target artifact or creature, or 6, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Notably, no creatures in my graveyard currently. Sure. Oh, we also want to point out that um, we last game, she does in fact have a hat. She has a little beanie that the employees all wear. Yeah. Um, it's a little more obvious on her non-booster um, fund version, but it is it is there on the booster fund version. Yeah, I can see it now. It's just, the first time we looked at it, we could see all of her hair, and it looked like that pointy thing was just part of yeah, the background. Yeah, 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 for sure. All right. Attraction. The costume shop. Visit. You may put a sticker on a non-land permanent that I own. Okay. Uh, and that rolls on a three, a five, and a six. Yeah, note the costume shop doesn't give you tickets. Right. So you have to earn tickets. Now you, you have like... You've got the prize I do wall have the prize tickets. wall. You have the yeah. prize wall to get tickets. But it, it stickers things, but it doesn't give you the tickets. So you need tickets elsewhere to, to do that. But you should always take the advantage to turn your, you know, doodle into a demonic doodle or <laughs> get a geek impounding lot bot, right? Yeah, uh, let's go to attacks here. Yeah, I'll tap something. Mm. Um, tap this Minotaur to Force that has a hat to tap the Riot Guide. Or sorry, Ride Guide. Ride Guide. Ride Guide. You have a 3-3, three, three, so that instantly makes all of my two power, two toughness attacks real awkward. <laughs> uh, and I guess I'll pass. <laughs> okay. and, uh, Will Nelson cover the spot this time? Let's find out. Let's see. Nope, not. <laughs> I'm not even going to have a chance. <laughs> That's OK. Uh, I will instead play my own ride, guys. Oh, no. An open attraction. When riding Erebos's whip, remember to keep your arms, legs, and any strange flailing appendages inside the vehicle at all times. And we're going to open the clown extruder. Hooray. We could potentially have more 1-1s one on a 4 and a 6. And this is a 4-4, four, four, as we've all seen. I can't use Carnival Barker again. Thank goodness. Uh, and I don't know if I love the rest of my attacks since my friend is motion sick over there. You have one card in hand? I do. All right, I'm going to play a planes, cast my last card from my hand here. Okay. It's gobsmacked, and I'll target prize wall. No. 
What does it do? It, uh, as it enters the battlefield, choose a person outside the game. I'll choose Mark. As long as I can see the chosen person from my seat, enchanted permanent can't attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be activated. I will respond. Sure, yeah, you can get one more Let me get another ticket, please. Sounds good. There you go. As long as you cannot see... As long as I can see Mark. <laughs> Back to you. Am I allowed to cover Mark? We've, we've, no, we've ruled that you're not, you cannot cover Mark. <laughs> we've ruled you're not allowed to put things over top of Mark. Okay, yeah. interesting. So it yeah. does untap, though. It untaps. It, okay. If you don't know what I'm referencing, go watch yesterday's <laughs> yeah. uh, coverage. Do, do watch the PPR. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Okay. All right, draw for the turn. Okay. Visit the gift shop. Oh, I rolled a four. A four lets me hit on these two. Target creature must be blocked this turn if able. And. I can create two food, so it's actually not great. So instead, what I'm going to do is make the Vidalkin into a 4-6. Wait, no, but a 4 also lets me tap or untap a creature. Okay. That is true. Cool. Uh, hey, this creature's tapped. You can untap this. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Everything is awful. <laughs> Uh, I do have two. If you change it to a three, you get a sticker is, is, is the issue, right? All right, I'm going to leave it as, I'm going to change it to a three. Right. Uh, and I'm going to place a sticker. I've got two of these. So I'm going to remove these two stickers. Two tickets. Two tickets to buy a sticker. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and for two, I'm going to buy Exalted Exalted. Wow. OK. Whenever a creature you control attacks alone, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. For each instance of Exalted amongst permanents you control, I'm going to put it on my Hexproof creature. Sure. So my 4-6 Vidalkin Hexproof is now also Exalted Exalted. OK. So if you attack with only one creature, it will get plus two, plus two. Correct. Sounds good. This is what it looks like. I'll move that. <laughs> okay. Um, the first ever exalted, exalted hexproof creature. Right? Yes. <laughs> now, I have another very interesting thing. What happens if I take a picture of it with Mobile Clone? You get all the component pieces of it. So do I roll two dice, or is it also a 4-6? <laughs> Oh, right, because these dice aren't really Yeah, the here. dice aren't really there. Yeah. The dice are just markers. So yeah, you would roll. When it comes into play, you would roll. Okay. Because that's... Right, the, the dice are only markers of what happened. Right, so. you're yeah. going to have to roll again. Yeah, 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 yeah. amazing. But but it would have had proof, it would have exalted, yeah, yeah, exalted. Yeah. DM, I knew that. Okay. Sure, <laughs> sounds good. All right, so first off. Dale voice, that happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So first off, we take a picture. Yeah, take a that. Wait, I'm, I got a, another I card sleeve in it. Yeah, your phone only gets to be one card. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you upside down? Rotato? <sighs> why would why would you think I wanted that to be upside down? Yeah, well, I will put your mobile clone in the. Oh no! And if I rotate my phone, I'm sorry. Give me a second. Here. You get an upside down version of Vidalcan Scroll Wrangler. So yeah. all of its abilities are backwards. Edit. There we go. Plus two plus two when blocking alone. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse hexproof. I can target it, but you can't. <laughs> I've never been more humiliated in my entire life. Oh, Surge. There we go. All right. OK, so now you have to roll dice. So this one's a 4-6. That's a 4-6. Uh, let's do the, the same thing again. So blue for power and okay, white and for white toughness. Okay. So it's a 6. Oh, it's 6 power. <laughs> 6, six, six. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> A one in thirty-six possibility. Great, <laughs> yeah. powerful phone you've got there. What model is that? Is that two dice rolls for DK? It is two dice rolls for DK. Oh my god! Do you have any creatures with hats in your bag? I don't uh, have any creatures. Period. Yeah, there's no in creatures. My in the, yeah. Oh, is this creatures? Period. Uh, yeah, that would be that DK does count that. Yeah. Okay. All right. I would like to go to attacks, Nelson. Great. I'll pot tap your riot guide. Great. I'm going to attack with this uh, two-two teddy bear. Exalted, 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 exalted. Yeah. It's a six-six. <laughs> We'll block with a clown robot that doesn't have a hat. <laughs> Pass. Okay. Tap. 
That's a lot of squirrel whacking. <laughs> Roll a dice to visit attractions. It's a six. Okay. So I get my robot back. Cover that I, spot! And I try to cover the spot again. Okay. I need, it needs more space for me to phone. Sorry. Here, yeah, you're good. It's okay. All right. Phones these days are just so thick. Oh, okay. good start. No, it's, I'm trying to get like two halves. Oh, well, that's. <laughs> yeah, we're toast, I think. Come on. There's a chance. It. There's Hail always Mary a chance. It. Ooh. Nice try. I hate this card. <laughs> I don't know why I put it in my attraction deck. <laughs> it, it, by the way, it has a good reward. We we made a big prize because it, it is hard to do. Sure. So you yeah. get four tickets and get a stick or something. So right, yeah. Something, it, it's pretty impactful when you do it. Something happens, yeah, exactly. Is. Okay, I don't have an attack. Go ahead, search. Untap. 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 Draw for the turn. Visit the attractions. Wow, wow, well, wow. well, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. That's true. Yeah, you could exchange. I mean, he's going to block it anyways, so it's like, is a six actually worth it here for anything? Or a four? A four would be both. I don't have any stickers I want to put on anything right now. The other thing is, remember, DK has an effect if you change it to an even number. Yeah, yeah. I don't really want a ah. Uh, I make it a four. No, that's fine. I'll just take the one. I'll okay. just take the one. All right. Uh, I'm going to cast the Angelic Herald. This is the second of the signpost cards. Uh, so Angelic Herald is a three mana two two angel performer legend. Flying. When it enters the battlefield, you may put a name sticker on a non land permanent you own. Each creature you control with three or more words in the name gets plus one, plus one. So DK, Rat in a Hat, Vidalkin, Squirrel Whacker, both of these all get plus one, plus one. Uh, so let's go ahead and put a plus one, or a name sticker on the seasoned buttoneer. So just uh, a rules thing we should explain. Uh, tokens have the name of what they are. Like the, the name of a token is uh, usually the types, the, right? the types that they are. Right. Uh, and honestly, this is a uh, misunderstood seasoned buttoneer. Mm, like they've been, they've been working, they've been working really hard. They've been in this job for years, but nobody really gets them. They, they don't know? understand. They don't. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this down here. Uh, I'd like to announce my intention to go to combat. I'll tap the ride guide again. All right. I'm going to attack with the misunderstood seasoned buttoneer. Sure. It is a 7-7 seven, seven with Exalted, 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 Exalted. I'll block with a clown robot. Uh, we got ourselves a game loop here. Go. <laughs> Demonstrated a loop. Yeah. Uh, draw. Go to attractions. Mm -hmm. Don't go to attractions. <laughs> um, planes. Go. A three, or is it? Do you have any flyers? Yes. OK, it's a tapped one. All right. Uh, I'm going to keep the three. It's going to let me put a sticker on something. I should untap everything here. <laughs> Turns out Angelic Harold's full name is Angelic Harold Cannonball. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, <laughs> That's cool. awesome. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so I'm going to be able to block it when it attacks with non-flying creatures, right? Because that's how you do a cannonball. <laughs> Not if they, what if they land on no, the other side, though? Cannonball is flying yeah. to the air, yeah. what a cannonball does. Yeah, but it always <laughs> lands. <laughs> I um, want to block it when it's on the ground. <laughs> oh, I also rolled an attraction. Well, if I tap down your tapper, then, no, 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 it's fine. Uh, okay. I'd like to go to combat. Yeah, I'll tap Harold. <laughs> All right. I'm going to attack with this ride guide. Exalted, 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 exalted. I'll block with another token. <laughs> that one has a hat because I missed on my roll. I'm untapping? <laughs> yeah. OK. I'll try to go to an attraction. Three. I get to fail at cover the spot one more time <laughs> before this game ends. Cover that spot. <laughs> okay. I have to drop them one at a time. Yeah, one at a time. All right. The, 
any strategy advice you want to give me, Serge, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> I got nothing, man. That's a, a dexterity thing, you know. That's a good start. Yeah. That's not that bad start. Second one could be slightly better. Yeah. Ooh, oh, best one yet. Best one yet. Best one yet. Getting closer. The Twitch chat advice would be don't miss, but I was like, I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Thanks, Twitch chat. Yeah. Thanks, YouTube comments. Yeah, were it me, I would say not me, miss I would... Dick's head. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, exactly. I would just have covered the spot by now. Yeah. I'll cast Starlight Spectacular. Dun, dun, dun. At the beginning of combat on my, this is a parade. At the beginning of combat on my turn, creatures I control, uh, choose, sorry, choose creatures you control one at a time until each creature you control has been chosen. Each creature gets plus one plus one until I'm turned for each creature chosen before it. So you're making a parade. Yes, I'm making a parade. Do you want to respond to this, or can I go to combat? Welp. Am I dead? No, maybe. <laughs> yeah, go for it. His creatures are going to get a lot bigger. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have, a, you have how many creatures right now? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, you technically have this creature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I counted yeah. it. One, no, two, okay. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is not a creature. Good lord. 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 Yeah. OK, sure. Um. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to put them in, in, yeah, in order. Yeah, just put them in order. Wait, so, right. I yeah. see! I saw yeah. that! Yeah. I saw that! That's fine, that one's And there's one there, too! <laughs> all right, all right. I've been drawing my surprise card anyway. Um, okay. <laughs> I'll put them in this order with this one in front. Oh, I found another yeah. one! <laughs> yeah, you're good at that. <laughs> Stupid cheaty face card never showing up on the top of my deck anyway. Uh, okay, I'll put them like this. Okay, go, this is the order. So this is so the which is the front of the, which is the front this of the line. One. That's the front of the line. Is so okay? this yeah. is zero, one, two, yeah. three, four. Yeah. Yeah, is that good? Yeah. So plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five, plus six, plus seven, plus eight. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. And you're, this is an alpha strike. This is going to determine the game. Like what's happening here? I think I'm going to attack with some creatures. Like this is a six six. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is a seven seven. Uh huh. Uh, this gives you back something, right? You get back. It's got oh the foam weapons kiosk. Yeah, that's okay though. It's huge. It's a uh, sorry. This is a uh, seven eight. And then I have tapper, which is big, but I guess it's probably worth. What am I at? Fifteen. Yeah, yeah, that's probably fine. Yeah, I'm just attacking with everyone, except for these two. I meant because eight. they're small. So I have to block. Okay, how big is this? Six six right. Plus yeah. zero, plus one, plus yeah. two, plus, plus three, three six, six. plus four, plus five, plus six, plus seven, plus eight. So are they all lethal but this one? Uh, no, these two are both not lethal. Okay. Individually. Yeah, Individually. Exactly. Meaning if just they hit you, you don't die. Yeah, exactly. If they both hit you, you would lose it. And you have two blockers otherwise. So if I, this is only seven, so if I save these three, I'm, it's not even lethal on the crackback, which is very rude. Um, prize wall can't block, can't attack or block. Okay, so I only have, I have six blockers. Oh man, that stinks. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping the block is okay, it does something. But I didn't do the math. I'm just going on a parade. <laughs> yeah. I can't even like tap and sack because I don't have a target in my graveyard to bring back. Mm. Do you have any first strike? <laughs> no, I don't have. No! Any, I don't have any abilities. <laughs> All right. So if DK stays when around, when this leaves the battle, well, this has an ability, and when this leaves the battlefield, around right, that also lets you thing. cast things out of the graveyard. So unless they had a flash, you couldn't cast it during right. combat. Right. Right. Oh, right. Of course. Well, you have a flash creature. Yeah, but you have a flash creature in my graveyard yeah, right true. now. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to die. But if I block, my chances of winning this game go way down. <laughs> So I can afford to let one through, yep. and then I have to block the rest. So I need to. I think I need to leave DK back. If your phone goes to sleep, do you lose that? <laughs> 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 All right. Well, let's let's start at this end. So it's like I'm just going to put them over sure, here. Sure, that's fine. Block, block, block. What's more important to keep? Everything I block with dies. Block. This is the six six. Well, if you block this one, they trade. This is only a six six. In case that matters. Lo that is. That, yeah. Well, no, 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 no. Because if I don't block this one, I die. Sorry, so, I thought yeah, you were going to block these ones too. Sorry. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So the, the the thing I'm trying to figure out is how much of a board can I leave? Well, like if you just leave the, this one through and then put a six six in front of this and then chump with the other one over here, you go to one. 
if you want to do it like that. That way you get to kill a creature. I at least get to kill a creature. And then I have DK and I have to roll a six. I was trying to see if I could guarantee right. a six. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and then return a creature. But, I see, I see. But I, I guess I don't have the luxury mm. of that right now, do I? I mean, if you would rather keep the six, six, you could be like chomping with DK on this. No, okay. I, think, I think this is the best bet to get okay. back into the game, is I untap with these creatures. Right, and right? you get to do stuff. And then I at least have stuff, and I have an upside. Yeah, I think I think that. Oh wait, sorry, this is wrong. Sorry, sorry. Why is this sorry. wrong? Because this has plus four, right? Plus plus zero plus. So one, I don't get two, a trade of anything. Three, plus four. Yeah, that is lethal. So this block goes to one. Right. Is this is I got confused because this is smaller than this. But right, this right. Because this has a four. I'm sorry, sorry. Okay, so this would do okay. six. This is the only thing that can hit you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. And then this is plus five. So these are these two are the same. Yeah. Now I need to ask myself what's more valuable, DK or this. Right. Okay. Because if, uh, if I'm not trading with anything, then it's like, I have a 6-6 six, six exalted, exalted hex proof. That's pretty dang good, actually. You know what? Sorry, DK. DK. Get under the bus. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Serge, does it change? That Starlight Spectacular is an enchantment. It's not a sorcery. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm dead either way, right? Okay. Yeah, like, if I don't win on the crackback or have a way to stabilize, Nelson takes the game. That's very powerful. Sure, yeah, I've got the two little robots to block with. So go to damage, you take yep. two, and then these five die? Sorry, not oh, sorry, two. Sorry, six. Go I mean, two. six. He goes take two, two. two. You go yeah. to two. Yeah, yeah. Go two. yeah, and then every one of my creatures every, dies. Everything dies. Yeah. Tap lag. Oof! Oof! Tap Lagamos, the demonic tutor. Um, okay. Back to you. Oofa and or doofa. <laughs> Draw. All right. So okay. I was cowardly there and just should have attacked with these two and I would have won the game. <laughs> Sorry, team. Yeah, if you had, yeah. I mean, I think you still win here. So I could roll a six. What does that do? So you have... I got 15? Yeah, I'm 15 also. <laughs> I mean, you get food. I'm not sure that's going to save you. No. If I, yeah, if I go to the six, I get food. I think we're... I think... I somehow lost the game with two hexproof exalted, 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 exalted creatures. Tapper's a hell of a drug. Man, that tapper though, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I think it was correct to not die in the air. Most I of the sickness on the flying token seemed right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I think I think your your parade of little crowd cloud robots <laughs> <laughs> takes it. Thank you Thanks very, very, very much. Okay. What, I will reveal what did you that win? I was, I was still now it's time. Years. Wait, you had more hiding somewhere too? I kept hiding robots. I want to show you why. Sorry, I have a card that I didn't draw that's pretty funny. I did have the Omni Clown Colossus that we were talking about earlier, yep. and it would have worked really well with my surprise party. Yeah, surprise this party. Is the card. Any this clown is the reason token that, that you was, hit on the battlefield gets to show class. up, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, what did it's you still, actually win? It still pumps robots and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know, for sure. Okay, so time to open up. <sighs> what could it be? What could it be? I'm so excited. I really hope I really hope it was James being rude and I dodged a bullet yeah, here. Yeah, probably. Okay. So James, do you want to present this, James? Or okay, all you Mark. It is an official award of excellence. Aww. And as you can see, we put both your names on it. We get a circle the winner. <laughs> oh, so the winner gets did, to be circled. Get to cross Serge's name out. Yeah. We circle <laughs> Nelson and crossing Serge out. Cross oh, Serge out. Oh. Okay, circle Nelson or just crossing Serge out. Maybe put out. some stars around yeah, it we'll, or we'll, circle we'll, it. We'll yeah, circle it. maybe some we'll emphasis. Put a stars yeah, there. exactly. Oh my God. <laughs> oh no. <Okay. laughs> Look, Mom. <laughs> I did it. <sighs> Beauty. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you for having me. This was fun. Well, I like to see robots take take the, take the game. Yes. Uh, I I I how am I ever going to emotionally recover from this? <laughs> it's I, fun. I, I did think you were going to win this game. But... You've got at least three yeah. weeks until next year. I can't believe I didn't. I can't believe I didn't win this game. I've got a. Oh no. Well, that is going to do it for the bonus judge round. The the two judges joined by the super judge. I hope you had a great time watching. Thank you so much. Make sure you're you're uh, subscribed to the LRMTG channel. And if you haven't already watched the full pre-pre-release, go check that out as well. Thank you so much, Mark, for joining us and being such a great sport. This has been an absolute blast. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good luck. Good luck.